Hello folks, John in Thailand again. I'm just wondering what's going on with the banana plants down here. I know they're not trees. <laughs> uh, banana plants, I guess, is what they're called. We've got bananas on one just here. I'll turn the camera around so you can see. You can see it against the, the white blind backdrop. Not very good looking, is it? Uh, what, two rings of bananas? Uh, further over towards the house, there's, there's another banana plant over there that's got a full, a full, uh, uh, I don't even know whether, whether it's a correct term or not, a full bunch of bananas. Um, there might be another name for it. But we have bananas everywhere, banana plants. We've got, uh, must be a dozen here, I think. We've got a situation where we should be cutting some out. I'm not sure, I'm not an expert on banana plants. New one popping up here. Uh, new one here, I've taken a couple away. One fell over the track here in the wind the other night. And uh, it's kind of weird. It doesn't look right. Uh, See, it's all black around here. I'm not sure that that's normal. Uh, maybe it's got a disease. I can't tell. But I checked with the wife and she said she hasn't put any fertiliser on them because they never put fertiliser on them. So they must be getting enough nutrients out of the soil down here. But one thing they do here uh, at the house is they, uh, the ones they cut down after you get the bunch of bananas off, cut the, bana the bananas that are on the tree, on the plant there, uh, they normally chop up the, the, the plant and just like leave it all inside the, inside the area there where the banana, banana plants are. Um, next door neighbour does much the same thing. You can see one that's been cut down there. Uh, their clump is looks better actually than our clump <laughs> it's uh, it's got some bananas there uh, I'm not sure you can see them but if I move around a bit more not a very good bunch of bananas so better than the one that's right behind me here that one's terrible uh, yeah so maybe we've got to thin out the banana plants here there's two more new ones coming up because after they, they give the fruit, the bananas, they have to be chopped down. Uh, no point in leaving it standing because it'll just rot and fall, fall over it. <sighs> as strange as it may seem, uh, I think they're about 60% water if you cut one open. Uh, here's some more banana plants in here. And I think... We've got the same problem with that little clump there. They're just too close together. It's uh, it's something I'm going to have to do some research on the internet about. Uh, too close together, I think. Same there. Uh, that's even even worse because there's more of them. There's a clump of big banana plants here, and despite the fact that one of them is very tall and sort of is reaching up onto the roof of the shed none of them have got any bananas on them and the same applies to the ones over here which I'm gonna have to chop down I think these ones over here are even worse uh, the ground was soft here and, and I'm pretty sure they're they're rotting out down in the base there where the roots are uh, yeah as you can see over there the furthest one already been uh, uh, well it's fallen over partly and this one here, uh, I'm not really sure what's wrong. Uh, like I said, I'll do some research on the internet. But I thought just to stop this, uh, these two big ones falling on the doghouse, which is there, um, I just put a rope on them and that would stop it. But I'm not sure it's really helping all that much. Anyway, that's my, uh, my video for today. Problems with the banana plants. There's a new shoot growing there. Two new ones over there. One little one and one bigger one. So I'd say there's plenty of nutrients in the soil, but yeah, what do we do? 
we set them out, I think. Okay, then we'll, uh, you all have a good day, and I'll catch you again sometime. Bye now.